everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali, I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris, for those of you who are in here for the first time. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this holiday, Christmassy inspired makeup look. I know a lot of us don't get to spend this year uh, holidays with the family, myself included. However, I am going to put on pretty makeup, a nice outfit, and I'm probably gonna be FaceTiming my family the whole time. I personally don't skip any occasion where I could dress up and do a nice makeup look. This is my holiday makeup look for you. I believe this is appropriate for holidays because it has a little bit of mystery, has a little bit of glittery uh, eyeshadow. If you cannot wear a lip gloss inside the house, I don't know where else. Because right now with the masks, this would be impossible. This is what today's makeup look is all about. Let's get into it. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. This is the hydrating primer just adding an extra layer of hydration but don't forget that your moisturizer can be a great primer this really creates a beautiful luminous base but stay away from this if you're oily i'll be using the tarte face tape foundation the color i'm using is 27s i'll apply it with this brush it's from 1944 the name of the brand this is full coverage so I'm trying to shear this product down. You see how it immediately becomes opaque. But if you spread it well enough, you get to have that airbrushed look of the skin without the heaviness. Just what I had on the brush, which is probably just one pump. Distribute it everywhere and then spread it, blend it, shear it out. I used to be a huge fan of full coverage foundations, but my skin got better with age, believe it or not. And now I feel like showing it off, like bragging with my skin. It's so funny. I would have never thought in my 20s that my skin would get to be as good as it is right now. I had so much acne. Now I can see that it's a little bit lighter only because I literally just self-tanned this morning. One thing that I love about this foundation, although it's full coverage, what I've noticed about other full coverage foundation is that in this area where I have a lot of acne scars, it emphasizes them because they have a lot of pigment. Now this one has a lot of pigment, but also has, I don't know, some good moisture. It's a good formula for, at least for my skin. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. This is a cover-up formula and it has a little bit of that color correcting in it, this color Custard. That's why it's so popular. I'm gonna use a Morphe M335 brush. As you can see, it's a round synthetic brush. When I say a concealer with a cover-up formula, I mean something that obviously has a lot of coverage. This would be a medium coverage for me. A second layer of concealer, I will focus thin layer, like very, very thin layer. Only in this little crevice. You can't really make this disappear, but you can give it the illusion by applying the right color only in that space i'm gonna use bronzer huda beauty tan tour is a great option for me the color light is the best for my skin tone i'm looking for a brush this one is the sephora in collaboration with makeup by mario Taking a little bit of it, and then I take the excess right here. And now I kind of warm up the skin. When you apply foundation that has, you know, a little bit of coverage or like medium coverage, what basically happens is that all the shadows on the face kind of disappear, and then you look very pale. You've probably noticed right after foundation. Now I'm taking my foundation brush 
and go over, you know, the edges. I always want to have the skin looking like, you know, like you don't see where the bronzer is or the contour is. Like, I like when everything is sort of mixed together and you just have the beautiful looking skin without noticing, oh, that's where the bronzer is. Oh, that's where the blush is. And for that, keep your foundation brush only for foundation. If after you apply foundation, you're gonna use your foundation brush to apply bronzer or blush, you're gonna miss this chance to do little corrections with your foundation brush. God knows why I'm starting to have hair growing here. I mean, it's falling from my eyebrows. You could obviously see that I have these spots that are, like, I have no explanation for those. But then I'm having hair growing in here. What's next? Hair on my nose? Like, I want to know what's going on with all these changes. Now, when I build a look, for me, it's important what I wear. And although I don't necessarily take the colors from my clothes and I put them on my face, uh, sometimes I like them to work together, you know, to just make it look like it's from the same family. Maybe they're not like super close relatives, but in the same family, you get what I mean. So, uh, for example, I wanted to use this blush and I, I put it uh, on the back of my hand and then I got it close to my face and I'm like, mm, no, I, that's not what I'm going to use today. Although this color looks amazing on me. This is the Sonoya 01 from Shiseido, but it's not gonna work with all the colors that I plan to use. I think this one would be better. Now, now let me put this one on the hand so you get to see what the difference is. It's just a pinch cooler. So you see this one is definitely much warmer. This one is cooler and it has this sheen to it. Look at this. This one right here is the Lila B in the color Be Real. I place the blush on the highest point of my cheek. If I look on the side, I can see where the highest point of my cheek is right here. And then I blend it toward, towards the temple, but I don't get there. But that's the direction. Now again, because my foundation brush only has foundation, I could use it to correct myself. So I go all around the edge where I've applied this blush. And although, you know, right now it might look like it's a lot, once I have, you know, eye makeup and eyebrows and everything, it will look very chic. The classic Laura. A little bit of powder on my brush. Now, very important step, check out your concealer before you set with powder. This is a Misa One brush. I like it for its size. Now, Refer 05 and Nars Laguna bronzer. The reason why I want to apply this bronzer for this makeup look is because it has a satin finish. So this is not completely matte. I know that it looks matte in the pan and I can use this all over the face. If you apply this in thin layer, you could apply it all over the face. Um, and as you can see, you know, my, my chest is a little bit darker. So I want to balance this. In a so that's why I think this one for this look is it's just beautiful. You don't have to immediately see where you've applied your bronzer. I think that if you immediately see a stain, if you immediately see the, the bronzer on your skin, you probably have a little bit too much on your brush. Powder bronzer should be applied in layers. Okay, skin is almost done. I'm gonna wait until the end of the makeup look to see if I need to add anything else. Now, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm, I'm very upset to say that I'm losing my eyebrows and I do not know the reason why. If you look at my videos like three, four years ago, you see the, the amount of hair I had in my eyebrows and now I'm being left with like this tiny little 
I don't understand what's happening. Losing it in patches. Like, you see this? I, I, I don't get it. So I'll be using the Glossier Brow Flick. Gotta warn you guys, I forgot to order contact lenses. So right now, I have no contact lenses. I don't know how I'm gonna do the eye makeup look, to be honest with you. I am so blind without contact lenses. I have my magnifying mirror, but it's not enough. Okay, now let's go into the eye makeup look. By the way, I was using the, of course, 24-hour brow setter from Benefit, the best brow gel out there. The palette I'm gonna be using in today's video will be the Laura Mercier Prima Ballerina. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I love all of these colors. Wait, more like this, yeah. The first step is this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Sunny Veil. Vale. Between the lashes, this is a gel liner, so it means it's going to give you a medium window time to blend it. Do one eye at a time. Then I'm taking a pencil brush to further smudge it. Getting the same pencil under the eyes. And then again with the brush, I spread it. And I get a little bit more product at the outer corner. Like so. And then again I spread it. It's better to do it in small steps like this. What is left on the brush, I get a little bit on the in the crease. Next I'm going to take this eyeshadow color right here with I'm just going to take a blending brush. And apply it on the mobile lid. Next I'm going to take this color in the palette with a refer 12 brush and then I get it at the outer corner first and then I go along the lashes and then with very very small movements I get this a little bit in the crease as well and then the same color on the lower lash line now I'm going to take this color in here in the middle this is very glittery I will just use my fingers for this I think it's much better yeah I'm going to be using my new favorite mascara this is the Sweet Lashes Mascara. Never in my life I've used a mascara that will separate the lashes and give you this type of length. It's crazy. Oh my god, my hair is so crazy. You know what? I'm gonna take the matte pink in the palette with a pencil brush in the inner corner. Lip liner, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Naked 2. Best sharpener from Sweet. I also like it because all the dirt stays inside. 
just in case anyone needed to know this information. This is the gloss balm from Fenty, and they came out with the cream formula. This color, this is the called Fenty Glow. It's my dream color. If I would have ever created a lip color that is my favorite in the world, it would be this one. Okay, I wanted to see what the whole look is like from further away. I still can't see it. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted. But you know, the makeup is not complete if I don't use just a little bit of highlighter. This is from La Bouche Rouge, which means in French, the red lips. This is the type of highlighter that you apply a little bit and it just does the job fast. Like It's so, so beautiful. The highlighter is not something that everybody understands, but check this out. When I turn, you see how the light catches wherever I've applied the highlighter it has a beautiful glow and it lifts the cheek and this is the makeup look for today's video thank you so much for watching i don't think i'll see you before christmas because the next video is going to be on sunday i wish you happy holidays i know that this year has been rough and hard for everybody but find a little bit of joy in everything and gratitude 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 every day for the smallest thing it helps so much i would love to see your looks for holidays if you have anything in mind if you want to practice by then i would love to see them so you just tag me on my instagram and then i can repost you on my stories thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye